Legalize nuclear bombs. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video talking about the Siren Head mod that me and the developers of Dangers in the Darkness are creating right now, where I just explained a lot of stuff about the mod, and I told you guys to put any kind of questions or ideas about the mod in the comments. So I went through the comments and I saw that you guys left a lot of really good questions and ideas, so I'm just gonna go through some of them today and give you some more information about the Siren Head mod. Please, if you have to make Siren Head appear and disappear, don't make it pop out of thin air like old Dweller mods. Yes, absolutely, this is something I told the devs immediately when we started working on the mod. We do not want the Siren Head to just disappear immediately or appear in front of your face. So he's gonna have his ways of coming in in a way that you will never like see him pop out of nowhere. But most importantly, he's always gonna disappear in a way that's also gonna make sense, like he's gonna run away or something like that. So it's actually gonna feel like Siren Head is gonna be in your world all the time. He's never gonna just like disappear into thin air. I know this isn't that unique for a mechanic, but it's pretty big part of Siren Head's lore that he can mimic sounds and try to lure or confuse his prey. So maybe if he's near, he could have a chance to mimic the sounds of peaceful mobs like sheep, cows, or maybe even wandering traders. <laughs> In case Siren Head goes out of render distance, simulation distance, perhaps recreate a distant render like Cracker's Wither Storm mod. I think this is exactly what we were planning to do, because uh, we do want to have, uh, you know, Siren Head always being rendered, because otherwise it doesn't really make sense, he's supposed to be like far away from you a lot of the time. So we will try to make it that like the chunks where Siren Head is at are always gonna be loaded. Suggestion for the Siren Head mod, the Siren Head should have a somewhat rare chance to make an infamous and recognizable dweller sound effect, like one from either the cave dweller or the man from the fog. This is actually a really good idea, I'm not even gonna lie, we're probably gonna put this in the mod. You should make it so he can phase through leaves so he's not easy to run from. Yes, this is exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, I told this to the devs immediately when we started making the mod that he should definitely be able to break the leaves of trees because you know he's gonna get stuck everywhere otherwise so yeah he's gonna be able to destroy leaves uh, that are gonna be in his way uh, but that's the only thing that he's gonna be able to destroy he's not gonna break your house or some shit I do personally suggest making siren head smaller like 12 blocks to make it more accurate and to also make it able to hide in forests as it does this is something that a lot of people have commented and I totally understand that but our idea was kind of to have siren head this size because it can now do two things one of them if he's gonna be in the tall taiga forest right he's gonna be still just as tall as the trees if not a bit smaller right so he's gonna blend in perfectly in that kind of environment uh, but in like an oak forest he's gonna stand out a lot which is also something we want to do because i feel like it gives that godzilla vibe of him just towering over everything and coming towards you and it's gonna be really fucking terrifying so it's gonna offer two experiences at the same time like this kind of a sneakier experience where you can't really see him if he's on a taller forest but also if he's on a smaller one he's this giant force of I don't know big giant monster walking towards you and to be fair if you're in the forest by the way because I do all these cinematic shots right now that you're probably seeing on the screen it's really easy to see because I'm like flying above the trees but if you're inside the forest you got leaves all the way above your head so you often don't really see him immediately so I feel like it should work either way day 114 of edging to key heads until he plays FNAF 4 Just make sure his audio isn't as loud as the silence mod. Yes, we're definitely gonna make sure that he's not gonna be too loud, even though he is Siren Head and he's supposed to be loud. We're gonna make sure that he's loud, but he's not like annoyingly loud. Are you going to add his ability to camouflage as different props? I mean, he originally was able to blend in his trees, lamps, electric poles, and so on. We were really thinking about like making him like turn into a fucking tree, but we really couldn't figure out like a good way to do that if we just like make him turn into like an actual tree. This is where his size is a, is a bit problematic, I will say, because uh, because of how big he is, even if you make him turn into a tree, uh, he's gonna be way bigger than a normal tree and he's gonna just stick out like he would otherwise, right? And if we turn him into like a normal tree, it doesn't make any fucking sense how he's, you know, 20 blocks tall and then he turns into like a six block tree. 
So his camouflaging ability is probably mainly gonna depend on his movement. So, you know, maybe sometimes he's just gonna freeze up and he's just gonna stay still as a way of, you know, trying to camouflage himself with the environment. Me sitting in my island house watching Siren Head trying to get to me. This is something I saw immediately and I was like, boys, we gotta do something about this. So we definitely made something that's gonna prevent you from just camping on an island. Uh, from to get away from Siren Head. All right, I feel like that was the most important questions that were left on the video. This is probably gonna be one of the last updates about Siren Head before I release the actual trailer for the mod or like a first gameplay or something. That's gonna be it for this Siren Head update video. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.